Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another demonstration and tutorial on Gate Lab 2. Today I have the pleasure to show you the MIDI functionality on Gate Lab 2. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check again the instruction contained in each video um, description. Okay, so Gate Lab 2. As you can see, we are inside the AUM and we have Gate, Gate Lab 2 as a MIDI processor. You can see here this channel is called MIDI 2 and I have loaded it as a MIDI processor. Indeed, it can work not only as an insert effect, which in this case it will be here, right? So you would uh, click on the plus sign here on the node and search for uh, GateLab, right? And it will appear there, right? So that's one way to use it. And I have created a video for it. Check also again the description. You'll find a link that to the review of GateLab too. But in this case, we are using it as a MIDI processor. So the first thing we need to do is to connect the two. And by the way, here I have a red strike. I really love this synth. I always loved it since I started using it. Really powerful stuff. Okay, so let's connect the two. So we click here on the left uh, of Red Strike and we select Gate Lab 2. Okay, or if you prefer, you click here and then you establish the connectivity. Click it in here where you connect Gate Lab 2 into Red Strike. Okay, so let's go back inside Gate Lab 2. Here there is an icon for MIDI or interface. Okay, so click on it. And here you have a MIDI channel out one, a MIDI channel out two, because um, it's for a mono instead, instead you have two channels. And then you have on, they are active, because of course we are in, um, we're running Gator Lab 2 as a MIDI processor. And here you establish the, the messages which are being sent out in this case, CC and you choose the number. So let's say we go for a CC number 20 and for this one, maybe use it, maybe we don't, uh, CC number 21. Yeah, you can establish the range in terms of the value for CC message from zero to 127 and then the channel, Omni or one to 16 as you prefer. And then of course you can reset here. What does this mean? Well. Okay, so um, let's click again on this icon to exit uh, the particular view. We go in uh, um, uh, gate mode and we go to mono, so we have only one sequence to start with. And let's remove all these steps. Perhaps we leave just the first one. Okay, so in this case, when this step is played, okay, it will send a CC message, which in this case is CC message. 20 it will send that to red strike so let's open red strike and let's click here to do midi learn and let's click here on the cutoff okay and we click now play as you can see he has detecting uh, that cc number in this case it says 19 okay that in, in terms of how the numbers are being represented no worries so now let's you can see he is now going up to maximum and that will happen corresponding to gate lab two playing um, that step. So when you play this step, you can see, you will see down here, the uh, presence of uh, red strike changing in terms of um, uh, here, the cutoff. When uh, hopefully you see it, there it is. When this step is played, you will see the cutoff going up. Now we can add another step here. And again, it will go up twice. And if you're playing some chord, mm -hmm. 
So here the cutoff going up very quickly and we can have a lot of fun in terms of creating rhythms. <laughs> And if you have seen, um, of course, the uh, review that I've done on Gate Lab 2, you know how to use it by now. And you can do things like, for example, um, changing this movement, increase that to 100. <laughs> You can clearly hear the difference when that is to 100. Or you can go to a different mode here. And um, um, so you exit the gate mode and here you can draw um, how it changes and in terms of value between uh, 0 to 127, which will be represented here. You can see it's going up and down depending on the curvature that I have selected in Gate Lab 2. <laughs> Okay, and that is how you are going to use it, or at least one example, um, right, or how you can use it. Of course, you can go back to Gate Lab 2 and apply stereo, and this will be your second channel. Okay, and um, as you know, as we have seen at the beginning of this video, this is configured uh, to do CC21. Okay, and um, that will be the message which will be sent out. And then depending on how it is captured here, okay, it will change accordingly. So um, let's click here, click resonance. Now it will pick up that level of 19 because the other one is actually playing at the same time. So it doesn't distinguish between the two. Yes, picked up the, that particular one. Okay, but that is in uh, in principle how you actually going to use Gate Lab Two as a, a media processor, and um, and then of course uh, you can expand what you can do here with uh, um, uh, with in this case Red Strike, and you can go and just uh, take over mapping, for example, from a media perspective, um, etc. etc. Of course, going back to Gate Lab Two. You can change the MIDI channel, which is going out, and that is actually um, useful. So, for example, let's say this goes to channel number one, and these go to only channel number two. Now, if we go to um, uh, Red Strike here, and let's say that we make it receive only on channel number uh, two, so like so, right? Now, it will not play from my keyboard here because it's sending on channel number one but what i can use this for now is again go on uh, midi mapping sorry on midi learn here click on these you can see it's picking up the next message cc 20 now okay and now i could go back here and re-enable um, all the channel to be received like so and um, now i can play a little bit because um, I can decide here on the top sequencer uh, how to control the cutoff and underneath here how to control, uh, for example, let's do it decreasing like so, right? And let's do this one increasing, oops, uh, perhaps like so. So if we go now inside the red strike, you see? One one is increasing, the other one is decreasing. So that's very powerful, and so a lot of new surprises for Gate Lab uh, version two. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.